It was, yeah, when it was, it was a great game. Both teams played really hard and uh, went down to a shootout. So it's always nice to get that extra point in the shootout. It, it certainly makes you feel a lot better about the day, even though it comes down to breakaways. So, um, you know, the first period I thought Florida had us a little bit. The second period I thought we had them a little bit. And then I really liked the way we played the third period. I don't, you know, I don't think we gave up a, a chance until the goal with five minutes to go. And guys were pressing offensively, trying to trying to make it happen. Couldn't get it done, but what a huge response after that goal to push it into the overtime. And in the overtime, there was a couple chances both ways that were pretty big. After the Fox goal, you put out the revenue line. Yeah. Just how much do you look at that line as a as one that can you know control the momentum swings? And well, they did there. I mean, that's so they, they go out there. I, I thought it was a big turning point in the game. You know, it was, like I said, we, we had not generated a ton in the first period. We get the power play. In the second, we score a goal. The, um, the Gaudreau line goes out, VC and Rampe. They put it behind them. They finish some heads. They get some shots on that. Next thing you know, we're back out with Trochik's line and a great, great goal, great play, great goal. And that evened things up. and. You know, there was now there's lots of energy on our bench, lots of energy in the building, and and I think from there we just we got better and better. What was your view of the Trocheck play in overtime, where I think it was for Hagee where he pushed the puck on um, I, I I'd have to go back. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I guess just how impressive is his all-around game in, in tight games like this, where he's able to make those big defensive plays. Trocheck? Yeah. It's, it's been all year. I mean, he's been. Uh, He's been a guy that's been logging every kind of minute that we could we could offer, you know, from even strength, power play, penalty kill, into the game, four on four, three on three, faceoffs. I mean, he's done it all for us. He's been outstanding, uh, you know, from the start of the year. He's been terrific. Is there a report on Gustafson? Uh, uh, he's getting evaluated right now. What did you make of the way the team was able to respond tonight? There was obviously two quick goals in the second. And they were able to, I mean, two quick goals in the second to tie the game, the late game tying goal with Panarin in the third. It seemed like it was a lot of the response score. Yeah, I mean, the, I think the, th the third goal was the response, which we needed, right? We're running out of time. There's not much left on the clock at that point. Um, the, I thought the, just to, like I said, the, the way I kind of described the, the events, the way it went with the power play goal, the big shift, lots of energy, and then another goal, that put us in the game. And I thought that that set the tone for the rest of the game. That was, for me, that was definitely a turning point in the game. Did you get Did you get a, a look at the play where Gustafson went down? And, I did. And what, should there be a penalty on that play? I don't know. It looked like he got elbowed in the head pretty good against the boards. I hate to see that happen. So. Is there anything left to say about how important our Tony Pierre has been for you guys this season? I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, he's he had another monster game. You know, he's he's so dangerous. He's leaving everything out on the ice. He comes back to the bench and he's completely gassed. He gives it all. Every shift, I mean, he's playing his heart out. First time you guys beat this team this season, you guys are the front runners for the President's Trophy. Just how does this set you up for the rest of the season? How does this? You know, I think we'll probably just go slow. I like your big picture idea. You you can keep that yourself. We're just going to go slow. We got uh, we got a couple of tough games coming up, and so you know the good day. The good thing is we get a we get a day off and then a practice day. We haven't seen that and. A long time. We're at the end of you know this game too was at the end of a long stretch of games and a short amount of days, and guys responded the entire time, um, really deserving of a day off tomorrow and some rest, and then actually to have a practice I think is going to be good as well. But after that, there's um, there's big games still coming. Obviously, you're you know missing True and Lingering too, your most physical defenseman, and you know you need them in every game. But a game against Florida it was a very physical team. You probably need that physicality in the back end as well. We talked about Jones stepping up, but it seems like Fox has stepped up physically. Well, he's too. he's so noticeable on the ice right now. Um, I, and I said this I said this the other game. I think I might have mentioned his name last game. Um, he's he's playing at an elite level right now, but I think all of our defensemen are playing really well right now. And so to have a couple guys out of the lineup that we count on that are a big part of our D, and have guys step in there and and fill those shoes, fill the voids for now, that's um, that's. That's really the ne that next man up attitude as far as the back end goes. Have you seen a little more like snarl in his game? Maybe with Who's uh, Fox with those two guys out? It, for me, it's I don't know about I don't know if he's gonna you know take on Truba's role, but for me, what I see in his game is his 
um, his attack inside the game, both defensively and most certainly offensively, the way he's attacking the game is at a different level. Okay. Thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah.